In a world where stealth technology has given fighter jets the power to vanish from enemy radars, a new game changer is emerging. India's defense scientists are working on a weapon that could make stealth obsolete, the quantum radar. Traditional radars send out radio waves and detect reflections from an object. Stealth aircraft, like the American F-35 or Chinese J-20, are designed to absorb or deflect these signals. But quantum radar is different. It uses the bizarre principles of quantum physics, specifically quantum entanglement, to detect even the most elusive targets. The idea is simple, yet revolutionary. A pair of entangled photons is created. One photon is sent towards the target, while the other remains in the detector. Because these particles remain linked, no matter the distance, any interaction with the target, no matter how stealthy, changes the state of both photons, revealing its position. India's Defense Research and Development Organization, or DRDO, is believed to be exploring quantum radar systems as part of its advanced electronic warfare programs. While details remain classified, experts say such technology could allow India to track enemy stealth fighters' drones and even hypersonic missiles, day or night, in any weather. If successful, quantum radar could give India a strategic edge over rivals China and Pakistan. It could also protect critical assets like aircraft carriers, missile bases, and command centers from surprise attacks. China claims to have tested a basic version of quantum radar in 2018. Western nations are racing to do the same, but if India's version reaches operational readiness, it could be a leapfrog moment, bypassing decades of incremental radar development in one bold step. Quantum radar isn't just about detection, it's about deterrence. In the next decade, the winner of the quantum technology race could dominate the skies, and India is determined to be that winner. India's quantum radar, science fiction or tomorrow's reality? What do you think? Let us know in the comments.